Mrs. Eve, how's my son? Is he in surgery already? No, he's still being prepped. Well, I thought you said time was very important. We're moving as fast as is safe for your son, Julian. I need you to sign some more paperwork, Kay. Oh, damn, I think I left the last page back there. I'll be right back. Kay, I need to talk to you. Not now, Miguel. Kay, you can't possibly think I did this to Fox and left him for dead on the street. All I know is that you beat the hell out of him, too. In a fair fight, Kay. Yes, I got the better of him, but he walked away with his pride hurt more than anything. I swear to you, I didn't do this. You liar! Murderer! You did this to Fox because you couldn't stand the fact that Kay chose Fox over you. That's not true, Ivy. Nobody believes you, Miguel. Even Kay. We all know how much you wanted Fox gone, so you did what you had to do to make it happen. You killed him! Nancy, I don't blame you for being upset with me, okay? I'm not, Luis. But I should have been in your room. If I would have been there, none of this would have ever happened. Honestly, I do not remember leaving, and I have no idea why I would have, and I sure as hell have no idea how I woke up wearing those clothes and that ski mask. Look, I'll go find somebody to run this test. I'll come with you. Are you happy now? I'm not making you get a rape kit done. I'm just trying to put everyone's doubts to rest. You're the one who's got doubts, Sheridan. But sure, I mean, I've been to hell and back lately a couple times. So what's one more indignity to prove my story to you, my doting, supportive aunt? You don't have to be so churlish. Let's just not talk anymore, okay? Whatever you say. Oh. No, wait. I forgot just one more thing. When I get through this, my first order of business will be to show Louise how evil you really are. Good luck with that. Because after you have this examination, you won't be able to convince anyone of anything. They'll know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you've lost it. Go to hell. So you really gonna do this? You're quitting Crane Industries. Quitting Crane and I'm leaving. No point in me staying in this town any longer. Jerry, she loves you. What? Yeah, no, she loves me. At least I thought she loved me enough to keep Ethan out of our lives, but I was mistaken. And I would rather not play at all than play second to that guy. Gwen in the car on the way over here. And I tried to talk to her. Teresa, next to me, you're the last person she wants to hear from right now. I just wanted five minutes of her time, Ethan. Teresa, honey, you have to tell him now so he can stop Gwen before it's too late. Tell him that it's over between the two of you once and for all. I need it now. Today, you get this done or you'll answer to me. I know it was you, Miguel. We all do. You beat up my son. And when that wasn't enough, when he could still walk away from you, you got in your car and you ran him down and you left him like roadkill. Also, you could win the heart of Kay Bennett. I don't deny I beat him up. But I had a good reason. He married Kay under false pretense and I lied to her about everything. And that is justification for murder? Damn it, I'm telling you, I did not have anything to do with him being run over. Oh, God. Ivy, that is enough. Look, Ivy, this isn't helping anything. Yeah, just please stop fighting. Can we just concentrate on Fox? Just pray that he gets better? Yes. Okay, honey. We need you to sign that before surgery. Uh, I want to do the right thing. Then give us permission as Fox's next of kin. We're going to be doing the surgery in stages, so we'll be giving you frequent updates. Okay, I need to talk to you. 
Not now, I said, Miguel, okay? I just want to be by myself. Sorry. Miguel, I know this is not the best time, but I've got to talk to you. Excuse me, Terry. Thank you. But you need to talk to me. What is this about, Chief Bennett? About your part in this. All the evidence is pointing right to you. I was raped tonight, Aunt Sheridan. Not that you give a damn, but it really happened. Well, we'll see after the examination, won't we? Which one of you is here for the exam? Uh, it's me. I promise it won't take very long. I'll bring your friend back to you in a few minutes. I'll be right here, okay? Love you. That's just great. It's bad enough I wasn't able to protect her the first time, but then to let it happen again. Stop blaming yourself, Louise. That's right, Louise. Like, you know, I could really use a cup of coffee, but I want to stay nearby in case Fancy needs me. I'll get it. Can I get you? You know, this really isn't your fault. Well, that's nice of you. That's not how I see it. One minute I'm in Fancy's room, the next thing I know, I'm downstairs in the pantry wearing a ski mask. You don't remember anything. No. Really? I'm blurry. Sounds very strange. It's like I'm remembering things that didn't even happen. I've seen you mad, but not like this. Yeah, will you try walking and seeing the woman you love getting an eye with her ex, man? See how you feel. Hey, hey, no thank you. Of course, in this case, you'd probably deserve it. Ouch. I'm sorry, man. I don't need to take this out on you. No, it's fine. I got it. Hey, look, I might not have been faithful to Whitney, but I can't imagine what I'd do if I saw her with someone else. Well, you'd probably kill the guy. Which is exactly what I want to do to Ethan right now. Look, Jared, I feel for you, man. I really do. But Ethan's not a bad guy. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Look, if he says he doesn't know how he got into Teresa's bed, butt naked, or what he was doing with her, I buy it. You buy it? Well, well you know, maybe I would buy it, too, if it was the first time. But every time I turn around, Ethan's trying to get with Tess, man. That's not Teresa's fault, man. Well, maybe it isn't. But Teresa even admitted it to me. That Ethan will always have a place in her heart. Basically saying that there's no place in there for me. Teresa, honey, please tell him. So that he can go after Gwen and they can take Jane far away and you can start your new life with Jared, okay? You know, I didn't believe that she meant it at first. I didn't. It's not like it was the first time she said she was going to leave. It's just different this time. It's like she couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't blame her. Ethan? And there was nothing as sad as sitting there watching her say goodbye to... saying goodbye to Jane. Jane, she, she didn't take Jane? I told her she couldn't because of the court order. Thought that would keep her here. Didn't. That's how much she hates me right now. She said she's going to fight for custody of Jane as soon as she arrives at wherever she's going. I can't believe Jane is here. Ethan, I'd like to see her. I let me go.
You want to tell me what exactly you're waiting for here? He's accepting it, Whitney. He's accepting his marriage is over. Please don't do this. Please don't tell me that you're changing your mind. You're still going to tell Ethan to go back to Gwen. Aren't you? Of course I am. Miguel, it's just the two of us. If there's something that you want to tell me, anything you want to get off your chest, now's the time. I might be able to make things easier for you in the long haul. Look, I'm not going to confess to something I haven't done, Chief Bennett. I did not run Fox over. I don't know who did. But I think I'm being set up. What? Look at all the stunts Fox has pulled. He lied to Kay about this disease to get Kay to marry him. He made Kay think I made love to Charity before Charity even came back to town. I mean, come on. Somebody's setting me up to make it look like I tried to kill Fox so that Kay would turn against me. My son is down the hall, lying on an operating table, fighting for his life, and you're going to blame him for this? You have a lot of nerve, you punk bastard. Jared, come on. All right, don't let your pride ruin your dreams. Or maybe some of this is about pride. But most of this is about Teresa not being willing or able to give up on her dreams, which involve another man. Hey, look, I know what this looks like. The Jared, maybe. Just maybe. They're both telling the truth. Oh, come on. All right, man, let me ask you something. If Tess didn't realize she was sleeping with Ethan until I came in the room, then why won't she press charges against the guy? Maybe she believes his story about how he got there. Or maybe she doesn't want to make things ugly with the, the man who's the father of her child, of her daughter. I don't even ask you this, man. I'll tell you why. You're looking for an excuse not to leave town. I mean, I look at you. Your male ego's bruised, you're mad as hell. But I know you still love her. Yeah. I do still love her, man. I love her so much that it's, it's hard for me to breathe. But I will not share her with Ethan. I will not do that, man. Teresa, you need to tell Ethan right now. Tell him that he has to go after Gwen. You know, get back with her and then you can patch things up with Jared. Get married, raise little Ethan. Promise me you're going to do it. How is she? She's okay, I think. She'll be, she'll be okay. Look, Ethan, I Lisa, really... I'm sorry, listen, I, I... I want to apologize to you about what happened earlier. I, seriously, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I got in your bed. I don't know how I ended up being I there. I don't know. Ethan. I do. Let me go, okay? No, no. Let, let, let me go. Why don't you stay here and talk to Ethan? Okay. Was there something you wanted to say to me? Look, Fox lied, Mr. Crane. He faked all of it to keep Kay from breaking off their engagement. He was never diagnosed with a terminal illness. You tried this before, didn't you, Miguel, at Kay and Fox's wedding? But it didn't work, did it? Because Fox was dying. His doctor confirmed it. Oh, you mean that specialist, Dr. Gasparo? Look, I can't prove it yet, but I know he's in on the act. You or Fox must have paid him to say what he did. Oh, how dare you? Even Eve conceded he's a reputable physician. How dare you malign him for your purposes? I suppose that's nothing compared to running my son down a dark, deserted street and leaving him for dead. I didn't do that. Stop it, both of you. All right? I'll have you thrown out. Yeah, please, Miguel. No more, okay? Dr. Russell, did you start the surgery? How is he? We just completed the first part of the operation. He's holding his own. Well, so now what? We keep going. I just want you to know, though, that the, the next part of the surgery is, is much more complicated. 
so. I just want to update you. Okay. Dr. Russell. I need to ask you something before you go back to Fox. What do you suppose he wants with her? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Miguel, I don't have time. This is important. Well, you have Fox on the operating table. I need you to check to see if there's any evidence at all that he was ever terminally ill. I've done it again. Let down the woman that I love. Please, don't do this to yourself. What am I supposed to do? I was in Fancy's room for one reason, to protect her. But what happens? Next thing I know, I wake up downstairs and she's been raped. Again. We don't know that until after the examination. What, you still think that it was just a nightmare? I don't know. Look, all I do know is that you... You are the bravest, most caring man I've ever known. So you admit you still love Teresa? Yeah, I love her. I love her more than I've ever loved anyone in the world, man. But I'm not a masochist, man. And I will not play second fiddle to some guy that she can't get out of her system. I have to go, man. I have to. It's the only way for me to forget that I ever met her. Hey. Hi. Um, I was just wondering if you have talked to Jared. Yeah, I'm with him right now. He's uh, packing up his stuff. Okay, don't let him leave. No, he's made up his mind. Can't deal with Ethan anymore. Okay, well, what if I told you Teresa's telling Ethan right now that she has chosen Jared? She's offered Ethan this job over at Crane in India, and he's going to take Gwen and the whole family with him. Would that make a difference? It might. What is on your mind? This isn't really easy Actually, for me, let me to... Let, hold on. Let me save you the trouble. Let me guess. You're not going to forgive me for ending up in your bed tonight, right? Believe me, I'm just as angry with myself as you are. I don't know how it happened. I swear to God, I don't know how I ended up in your bed without any clothes on, making love to you. I have no idea. It's as if somebody took over my mind and just put me there with you, Teresa. I'm not making excuses. I'm not justifying the behavior. It's completely my fault. But it's as if my subconscious just drew me right to you again. Come on, Teresa. There isn't much time. So, <laughs> if you if you have decided to press charges against me, then I I, I don't blame you. No, that's not what I want to do. Here, why did you come here? Well, I'm, I'm trying to tell you that there's something I need to say to you. Don't mind if I do. You? No, well, thanks. Well, here's to Jared Casey, guy who really thought he knew what he was doing, but had absolutely no clue. Oh, really? What was I thinking, man? Falling in love with, with someone that I could never have. You did have her, Jared. And you still can if you don't excuse the expression, cut and run. Yeah, well, that's what I have to do, man. And who did I think I was? That I was someone that, that, that could make her forget about this man that she's loved for all these years? You know what, man? Aren't you the least bit curious what that phone call was about? Oh, man, your life is your life. It was Whitney. Jared, and she's with Teresa. They're over at Ethan's right now, and she thinks she still have a chance with Teresa yet. I gotta go. Is it Winnie again? Uh, no. Oh, wow, man, you're something. Giving me advice about sex when you're the one that can't keep your pants on when it comes to this. I don't to want to talk about it, Jared. Of course you don't want to talk about it. You'd rather just get in your car and roll on over to the motel. How do you do it, man? How do you do, how do, you do that without thinking about Whitney? 
or the son that you two raised I together. said I don't want to talk about it, Jared. Man, you got some problems, man. You know, being addicted to sex is just look, as easy look, as being addicted to do drugs. me a solid. Okay, if Whitney comes by here, call, tell her I just left. I'm on my way home. Yeah, right, whatever, man. I certainly know that I would never do that to Tess. I don't quite know how to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You mind if I say something um, before you speak? I, I need to get something off my chest. Me first, Stephen, I really, please. I really need to say this right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to say it later, okay? Okay. Teresa, I, uh, I, I've, been, I've been lying to you. About what? I've been telling you that I don't know how... I happened to get into your bed tonight. I've been lying about that. Ethan. I know exactly. I know exactly why I was there. No, don't. I've been telling you that I don't know how I got to the mansion. Well, that's only partly true, okay? I don't know how I got there physically, but I sure as hell know how I got there emotionally. No, I don't know. Teresa, Ethan, don't I was there tonight please. because I love you. Because I love you. Because I love you with every fiber of my being. Gwen knew it. She knew it. She didn't leave me to tonight because of tonight. She left me because she's not stupid. Because she knows that for years now I have loved you so much. And God bless her heart, Teresa. She's tried to live with it. She's tried to love me so much, hoping that one day I would finally just be able to let you go. Only the problem is, I haven't been able to do it. I couldn't. And I don't know whether it's because I couldn't do it, or because I didn't want to do it. And I don't, I don't know if there's much of a difference between those two things. But I want to tell you the truth, and the truth is I was in a fog tonight. Yeah, but you know what? I ended up exactly where I wanted to be, and that was right with you in your bed, with you. That's where I wanted to be. I thought you guys would want to know that uh, Jane, she, she's fine. Uh, she's napping now. Thank you. <laughs> I need a drink, excuse me. You have got to tell him, Teresa, right now. Did you hear him? He's telling me that he loves me. Again, don't allow yourself to get sucked in, please. Look, I, I just got off the phone with Chad, and he just talked to Jared, and he's still here. He's still in town, so if you break things off with Ethan, you can get him before he leaves, and then you can have the life you want with the right man. Now, break things off with Ethan once and for all so that he can go get Gwen. I need to talk I'm to you, I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. There's four people in the world that I love more than anyone else in the world. That's you. That's my mother. And that's Jane and Gwen. And I've put Gwen through so much agony, so much pain. And it's all been because of the way I feel about you. My feelings for you. But she and I are through now. And I don't blame her one no, bit. No, 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 you're not through. You know what? You can get her back. You can, you can still get no, her back. No, no, no. Teresa, look. This is what Gwen thinks about our marriage now. She did this to her wedding ring? That's how I know she's never coming back. Be strong. Come on, be strong. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The, the lab said they'd put a rush on the results, so I thought I'd wait for them. We'll both wait. 
You two can leave, you know. Don't be silly. Fancy's only doing this because of my suggestion. I, I can't abandon her now. I'm really sorry about all this. No, don't be, Louise. I'll just feel better when we get the results so everyone knows I'm telling the truth. I, I don't want to leave. Yeah, I got that. You're too worried about Fancy. Exactly. And I was thinking of what we said earlier about Fancy's emotional state being too shaky and that she might need to be hospitalized. I, I hope not. But she is my niece, so whatever will help her through this. And it's really not surprising. I mean, she always has been so emotional and dramatic, and I think this rape has just put her over the edge. When I walked up earlier, I, I couldn't help but notice how close you and Luis were. I was just trying to help him deal with his guilt. He has nothing to blame himself for. No, no, of course not. Not the perfect, wonderful Luis. What's that supposed to mean? You can't keep your eyes off of him. Not even for a minute. Now, are you sure that you're okay with Fancy and Luis being a couple? How could you even ask me such a question? <laughs> I ask you because the look on your face every time you're watching him tells me that you would trade places with Fancy in a heartbeat. Kay, you're shaking. Fox could die in there. Yes, he could. Which would make this a murder investigation. I'm sure he didn't mean to be short with you. His mind is on his work. Yeah, well, he hasn't forgiven me. He says he has, but he hasn't. He hates me. It's not true. Your father adores you. Well, he used to. When you used to live here, but not anymore. He hasn't forgiven me for what I did to my mom. You know, if, if it wasn't for me, they would have been together the past few years. She would have never gone away. And she wouldn't be dead right now. If anyone's to blame for that, it's Ivy Crane. He just went along with her. And which is why her sick plan worked. I was just so mad at my mom i was just so hurt I, I didn't realize what i was doing to my family and now fox my husband is fighting for his life and and if i would have been with him like i was supposed to be none of this would be happening he would be fine look all i'm asking is that you check to see if fox has any indication of ever being terminally ill miguel i'm trying to save fox's life i know but he's already there. You can't ask me to look for something that has nothing to do with the injuries that he sustained tonight in a hit and run. What do we do if Eve sees the box was never ill? I'm in a lot of trouble here, Eve. Everyone is looking at me as a guy that did this to Fox. But I didn't. You've known me my whole life. I know I do not believe that you are capable of attempted murder. Then help me out here. Please. Miguel, even if I do as you ask and, and I check Fox to see if he had any previous illness, it still doesn't prove your innocence. No, it doesn't. But it would go a long way to making Kay and her father believe that I was telling the truth on all the other scores. I know that Fox lied to Kay. Dr. Gasparro. I know, Dr. Gasparro. I know it doesn't look good. But I'm right, Dr. Russell. Listen, I love so much and all i'm asking for is that if you get the chance in there to find any shred of evidence that fox was ever terminally ill i'll really appreciate it all right miguel if i get the chance i will see if, if fox is really sick How do you really feel about Luis and, and, and Fancy being in love? I'm thrilled for them. Really, Chris, I can't believe that you would ask me such a question. I just want my niece to be all right. Well, you know what? With Luis in the corner, I think she's going to be just fine. Yes. You're probably right. God, what is taking them so long with my lab test results? I'm sure that they will be here any minute. Well, here she comes right now. So, 
Did you get the results of my lab work? I mean, they, they confirmed I was raped, right? Didn't they? I guess it wouldn't be very politic of me to put in for your office. It's much bigger than mine. Wow. Well, I was thinking about other people, aren't you, Valerie? I'm just kidding, Jared. It's a natural question, considering. What's going on? Oh, you're right on the money. I'm leaving. Now that you and Teresa are engaged, you can't work for the boss? No, I'm not just leaving Crane. I'm leaving Harmony. You just gave Teresa a ring. You're getting married. Uh, no, plans have changed, thanks to Ethan Winthrop. Teresa seems to want him so much she can have him. I'm out of here. And uh, good luck with the office here. But you want to get maintenance to fix the heating system for you. Jared, no. You can't walk out on Teresa. You just can't. I have hurt Gwen so terribly. But she hasn't been my only victim, you know. What I've done to you, I don't have any words to apologize for that. The only thing I never wanted to do was to hurt you. And believe it or not, the only thing I ever really wanted was for you to be happy. Just for you to be happy. I wanted every single one of your dreams to come true, every single one of them. And all I could do was hurt you. And I really wanted to say that I'm, I'm sorry. I wanted to look you in the face and just say I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Please, please do not get drawn back in. I feel like I want to, I want to ask you for something that I don't feel like I have a right to ask. I want to ask if you can forgive me. Can you, can you forgive me? Of course I can forgive you. But there isn't really anything to forgive. We both have done some really horrible things to each other in the past, some really hurtful things. Yeah, out of confusion, out of guilt, out of wounded pride. But it's okay. Because we got through it. <laughs> yeah, we... We got through it. But I think it's... It's time for a fresh start, what do you say? Absolutely. Come on, Tracy, you have to tell him now or it's going to be too late for him to repair his marriage with Gwen. Please set him free. For both of your sakes. First things first. We'll make sure Fox pulls through, then we'll deal with keeping his secret. How do you possibly think you can control this, Julian? You never cease to amaze me, Ivy, after knowing me all these years you really have to ask. Dad, look. I know you're upset with me Okay, we both have a lot on our minds right now. Why don't we just concentrate on whether Fox lives or dies? Fox may not make it out of this one, but it's not going to be from a so-called terminal illness. You'll see, Kay. You'll see I've been telling you the truth. Oh, hey. I'm so sorry. I know you've been wanting to talk, but I just... Yeah, I, I couldn't wait anymore. Um... I lied to you. Come on, you haven't done anything no, wrong. No, I, I lied to you about the reason I came back to Harmony. It wasn't because of my Aunt Grace's death. I knew Kay had chosen Fox um, instead of you, and I wanted to be here for you. Why? Because I still want you, Miguel. I want you. I have to know what the lab results say. The lab work showed that you were indeed sexually assaulted. 
I told you. And there's more. We were able to get a semen sample. And with that, we may just be able to identify your attacker. Oh. Well, that's good news, isn't it, Elise? Then we can find him. We can find the person who did this to me. And what's it to you if I stay here in Harmony and marry Tess or not? It's not like we were ever close. I'm just saying you'd be making a terrible mistake if you leave. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's up to me, don't you think? You don't understand. Jared, something terrible is happening in Harmony. It's a threat to everyone, but mostly to the Cranes. Taking up fortune telling in your spare time? It's not funny, Jared. I'm dead serious. Something's going on in this town. And if you give a damn about Teresa, you'll stick around and protect her. She needs you now more than ever. Look, there's something that I need to say, and... Well, it's killing me to have to say this, but, but I need to say it. Oh, thank God. She's finally going to break it off for good. Say it. Say it. Hey, hey, hey. Shaking like a leaf. Can't be that bad. No, it's bad. It is. 